in this lesson, I want you to open up this one. That's 201 underscore 2715581.psd. And what we're going to do here is what I would call Classic Marketing 101, directing your attention. We're going to do two things. We're going to deal with something that's in focus against something that's out of focus. Now think of the world that's around you, the three-dimensional world. Our eyes focus on things as we look at them. I'm looking at the monitor. Now I'm talking to you. My eyes are focused on the monitor. I turn my head a little bit and I look at the television, which is on the other side of the room, and my eyes focus on that. We know that. On a two-dimensional surface or a photograph, once something's out of focus, it's out of focus. What does that mean, though? What it means is our eyes like to see things in focus. And since we know we can't take it back to focus, we focus in on the things that are in focus. I want the dude in focus. I want everything else out of focus. I want you to look at him. I want you to focus on him. So what do we do here? Well, I did something to save some time. If you have this image open and you go into channels, you will notice there is a channel selection. That's what that is. Now, I just did that to save time. I basically made the selection. It wasn't really that hard, but it took a couple of minutes. And then I saved it as a channel so we can use it quickly. That's the only thing I've done to this image. Let's go back and click on RGB. That brings the image back. I have done a chapter where we talked about channels, and you might want to go back and refresh that. But we're not going to worry too much about channels here as much as saving time with that selection. Go back to layers. I need a copy of this layer. And the easiest way to do that in the whole world is hold down the control or the command key, that's Windows or Mac, and the letter J, control J or command J, and you get a copy. So we got dude copy right here, and we got dude down here. Go back to channels and reestablish this as a selection. Now that's actually pretty easy to do. Hold down the control key, command key on a Mac, control in Windows, and click it. You can see it is now a selection again. Now let's go back to layers. What I want to do is get rid of everything in that layer but what I have selected, at least in terms of visible, and we can change that later because we're going to make a mask out of this. Click this button right here. That's for mask. Now, if I turn dude off down here, you can see all I have in that layer is him. He's in focus. That means if I go to this layer, go up to the word filter, convert for smart, always do that if you can, then go down to the Arch enemy of Sharpen, Blur. Let's do a Gaussian Blur. And we don't want a lot. You know, we don't want something like that. We want to make it look as if when you shot the photograph, you had the f-stop at about a 2.8, and you're focusing in on that manly guy on the smallest bike in the world. And 4.9, it would differ based on the resolution of the image, what you're trying to achieve, and click OK. Now, just by doing something like that, we're beginning to draw our focus, our attention to the guy because he is in focus. But we're not done. Don't forget my expression. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Let's go to dude again. Make sure you have that layer selected. Go into this button right here for adjustment layers and select, I'm a sucker for vibrance. Let's go to vibrance. What I'm going to do is lower the vibrance of that background. Makes him stand out just that much more. Close that by clicking here. There's one more thing I want to do to make it look a little bit more realistic. He's in focus, and he immediately goes out of focus down here. Why? Because the blur that we apply to that background is equal from the top to the bottom. And if we're dealing with a three-dimensional world, it would be in focus down here and slowly go out of focus when it hits about here. That filter is a smart filter. It has a mask. Select the mask. Make sure you've got black and white as your foreground and background colors. Pick up your gradient tool right here. Click this little button right here. And click the upper left-hand corner gradient, which is foreground to background color. Select this gradient, which is a linear gradient. With the mask selected, I'm going to come over here. I want this in focus until it gets to about here and starts going out of focus when it gets to here. So I'm going to pull from here with my gradient tool and drag up to about there. I'm trying to get the angle, too, that you can see on that wall. Now see what happened? This area is now in focus, 
which makes it more believable as a photograph. And as he's standing up three-dimensionally, the background is receding and it's going out of focus. Using sharpening and blurring in the same image, along with color too and vibrance, to draw your eyes to the item that you want me to see. All done non-destructively.